Welcome to Gamers Games. I'm Gamer, and these are my games. Tune in and see this week's new video. Thanks. Hey everybody. So, welcome back to Gamers Games. Um, trying to get situated here where I can reach everything and show you everything that we got going on. So, um, today for me is late in the day on September 11th. Uh, so, first off, thank you to all the first responders. And um, we shall always remember and honor those. So, with that, uh, I did go garage selling today. Um, I took my son, Dalton. Uh, we picked up Andy a little bit before lunch. Um, and we found quite a few gems out in the wild today. Um, so first things first, uh, we were going to some garage sales and uh, you can see the big stack here. We're not getting to that just yet. We found this Xbox 360 Slim System and $5. So, uh, the guy told me, he's like, come back Sunday, which will be tomorrow for me. Um, he goes, we'll try and dig out the games from my sons, um, and then we're going to see if they want to part with them. Now, I did look inside it. It does not have a hard drive. But later in the day, Andy and Dalton and I, we went to Game Exchange over here. And a little dusty. Picked one up. It was uh, $19. For a 250 gig though so picked that up for like say 20 bucks almost make this complete now it did not have a controller it just had a power cord and a connect a black connect so it's not the one that would match it color wise but that's all right for five dollars i don't care it's well worth it to me um at that same garage sale i picked up a vcr and a box of vhs tapes nothing real great haven't even tested the vcr yet so um i don't know i, I think i'm kind of burnt out on picking up vcrs i'll just stick to other electronics video games <laughs> um so see these are all in different orders here some of it came from game exchange some of it did not this came from a resale barn it's a uh, i forget what it is something resale but three dollars and it's the little pedal for rock band guitar hero whatnot and uh, it looks good so for three dollars i picked that up um at a garage sale if i can reach it got too much stuff today is there such a thing um found a two battery pack uh charger for power a uh, i actually have five maybe more batteries for this and i only have one double charger so pick that up now a lot of people ask what'd you find in the system always check your systems it's uh, mortal kombat versus dc universe for xbox one i'm sorry xbox 360 i'm out there uh it's a platinum hits version but it's a game i didn't have and it was in there so that was good uh for five dollars that game paid for it <laughs> yeah um now to continue on with what we picked up at game exchange uh, you saw the hard drive, the 250 gig, you know, that's in the system now. I picked up two MedCats memory cards for GameCube. The purple one is four. The orange one is 251 block. So I guess that's uh, 64 megabyte, four megabyte. Yeah, so um, I picked those up. The purple one was $3.99. The orange one was $4.99. Uh, I'm always buying memory cards for PS2, but coming across them for GameCube is hard to find around here at least. So I picked those up as well. I've got four counting those two. One is <laughs> only one of them's name brand. So uh, while I was at Game Exchange, I picked up Soccer Mania for PS2. It was $5.99. I don't know if y'all can, yeah, probably can't see that. I'm a little far away from the camera, but it is complete disc looks really good um 
It's a Lego game. I didn't even realize it at first. I was just oh, Soccer Mania. Because it doesn't say anything on the spine, you know. And it was complete and I needed it. So I picked that up. So that's going to go on the shelf. Singstar 1990. Or the 90s. Again, $5.99 as well. Uh, has the book and the insert actually as well. Uh, as well as the disc. And everything looks good as well on that one. I guess I can show you all that. Ugh. So I actually already had that game. But it was just the loose disc. Um, so I'm trying to kind of filter out some of those things that I had. Uh, missing the manuals or missing the uh, artwork. And that was one I was able to knock off. Oh, excuse me. It is 1040 local time for me when I'm filming this. So it has been a long day. I've been up since like six. I know that's not always early for some people, but it is for me on my day off. Um, at the resale shop where I picked up the pedal, they had, I don't know, six games and a book. So Assassin's Creed, The Secret Crusade. Dalton asked for this. Uh, he's like, it's a book I'd actually read, Dad. <laughs> I said, look, son, I will be more than happy to buy you a book if you're going to read it. Even if not, it's still game related, so it still looked good sitting on a shelf. Uh, so he got that for free. They actually didn't charge him for that. Uh, that's always nice. You know, sharing with uh, kids that uh, want to read, uh, I really encourage that. Um, now, I got one 360 game. I got Need for Speed Shift complete. The uh, case is kind of busted, but for $4, uh, the disc looked really good. And I don't have this one, so I was surprised. So that's a good one. Um, now here's another one that I was able to pick up. And uh, I have it in my collection already, but it was just a loose disc as well. That's Power Pro 2008. Or MLB Power Pros 08. And the case is kind of busted up. But the disc looks really good. The book looks really good. So uh, I gave $5 for that one. Uh, kind of stepped up on a few things, uh, mainly because they're complete. Uh, it really kind of kills the buzz for me uh, of picking up games when they're not complete, especially since that's what I'm trying to do. Uh, so uh, I got those. Everything, uh, I think everything I got PS2-wise was complete today. Uh, so same place, the resale place, uh, Spiderwick Chronicles, $6. Um, again, complete. Nothing too crazy. It's got some OG Blockbuster stickers on the front. Oh, yeah. Missed that place. And then we got uh, Bakugan Battle Brawlers for $5. And again, complete. Everything looks good. Um, and it has a uh, sticker for GameStop. It says $19.99 new. So, I mean, I guess I didn't do too bad. Or maybe the people that bought it originally didn't do too bad. Uh, Lego Indiana Jones, The Original Adventures. I, not much on playing Lego games. But when it's PS2, you've got to kind of have it for the set. So complete, $3. Uh, that really wasn't a bad deal. Um, of course, Lego kind of holds people's attention some. Uh, Indiana Jones is always good. Uh, <laughs> the Tale of Despero. Again, complete uh artwork looks good two dollars uh now given i know this is not an expensive game i know i think uh when i added it into my game i said four dollars complete and so be it that's fine it's still one that i didn't have so it's one two three six seven seven ps2 games there now given two of them were ones that i have already but so five that i added complete uh, so that's, that's a huge thing. Um, now the remainder of everything I picked up at a garage sale. It was in a town just south of us and I've actually bought some stuff from this guy before. Uh, he buys, sells, trades, collects, doesn't collect. I'm not sure, but he always seems to have games or action figures. And I bought a Riddler figure from mid nineties. Uh, still in the box or packaging is kind of beat up, but I picked that up for five bucks. Um, and right there at my feet was a whole bunch of games, so I was looking through those uh, just before then. But I got Mario and Sonic at the Olympics. 
uh, or Olympic Games, sorry, my bad, uh, for the DS. It is complete. Uh, looks good. Um, I don't even have a DS to play it, but complete. I mean, short of the little bit of tearing up there at the top. I'm sure you can see that now. Yeah. So, uh, the every one of the games that I got here were $2 a piece. So, it's a really good deal for $2. Uh, I was happy with that. Um, he had a stack of VHS tapes, and he said, well, we've already went from VHS uh, to DVD in my son's room, and of course we have Blu-ray or 4K for us adults. I was like, oh, okay, I understand. So how much are your VHS tapes? He goes, um, 20 cents a piece. I said, okay. So got Ninja Turtles 1, 2, and 3, of course, had to. Uh, I've got them on uh, DVD and uh, I really didn't need them, but I kind of needed them, you know. Uh, <laughs> Tron 20th Anniversary Collector's Edition VHS. And then this one, uh, he had a lot of uh, westerns, John Wayne movies and stuff. So I just picked up uh, Sands of Iwo Jima to kind of fill in that last 20 cents. And it's John Wayne, you know, come on now. So, not a place to put those. Hopefully they don't fall. Uh, he had Sinking City for Xbox One. It's complete. Um, I mean, has the little map and everything in there. Uh, I've never even heard of it. But I figured I'd give it a go. Oh. oh terribly sorry. Please forgive me. I'm tired. Uh, he had Conan for PS3. Complete. And this game kind of surprised me. I was like, oh, Conan, okay. It's going to be good, I'm sure. $15. Uh, but I paid two, so. Uh, Dragon Ball Fighters, or Fighter Z. Um, didn't have a case or anything, just a loose disc for Xbox One. Uh, but still picked it up. That's one I didn't have. Uh, Dalton, he wanted to go ahead and get Fallout 3. The case is kind of busted. I have some extras over there. I'll give him one. But uh, it does not have the manual, unfortunately. But it is the Game of the Year edition for Fallout 3 with all the DLCs. He's pretty stoked about that. And then two more PS2 games. So Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Complete. Again, $2. I mean, the disc looked good. Uh, and I needed it for my collection. Uh, and then Lego Star Wars 2, the original trilogy. Again, Complete. Uh, everything's there. looks good. Uh, I actually have this game, but it's on Greatest Hits. So, this here was another ad. So, total, oh, PS2, taking out the two that we already had just completed. It's five. I added seven to my PS2 collection. So, that's a huge ad in my book. I mean, seven games. Uh, if I could add ten every week, you know... At the end of a year, I'd be almost completely done, you know. Uh, so, seven more games I added to it. Um, all complete, which are good. Uh, I'll have to pull those two out over there, and I'll put them in a case, get rid of those. Um, but that's, I mean, I bought more toys and stuff other than just this. I, I bought a, a work table for my garage. Um couple of VCRs, uh, VHS tapes box. Yeah, I told you about that. Um, I bought a Scooby-Doo Mystery Machine. Um, but with the $40 I spent at Game Exchange, 40 some odd and some change, 44 and some change, I think, uh, given 20 of that was that hard drive, uh, I also spent $30, $35 at the resale barn, uh, counting... You know, the games that I got, the book that they threw in for free, things like that. And then garage sales, including this huge work desk that I got. I only spent $150. Garage selling was 60 and then the 35 or so, and then the 45 or so. So, not too bad to get all this stuff and to add this many games. I was adding to my game, uh, and I want to say it come up like $300. Between this, these games, uh, I did do a trade. Uh, before I let you go, I, I'm forgetful today. Um, I had mentioned in a video 
previously about Alex Kidd on Sega Master System. Uh, Anthony had found it at our local Goodwill, a friend of mine, uh, and he's like, here, I don't collect the system, you can have it for free. Uh, I collect Master System. If I had a system to play it, I'd be a little more into it. Andy has one, and he's like, hey, how about this? And I needed California games for NES. It's a $9 game. Uh, I needed RC Pro-Am for NES. And then Stanley Cup and ESPN Baseball tonight. Now, uh, nothing real high dollar, but a free game for this, which was a really good deal for him. Uh, I was able to trade that straight across, and I'm, I'm fine with that because I really don't click, you know, Master System, and he does. He's already got one uh, Alex Kidd uh, game, so I know he needed that one, uh, and I didn't. So I traded that, uh, but I know we're running on like 15 minutes now. It's a long video for me. Uh, stay tuned for another video here in the next week or so. It's a huge trade that I did with a local guy. Uh, he typically is a reseller, but he's starting to collect some Super Nintendo stuff. And I made uh, a huge trade. I mean, there's just, there's no other way of saying it. Just a huge trade that I made with him. So tune in for that video too. And I will label it uh, local trades or something like that. Uh, so thanks for stopping by. Like, subscribe, comment, share, all that stuff. I'm so close to 100 subscribers. Uh, at 100 subscribers, we're going to give away that chrysalis right there. Okay. Free game to anybody that is subscribed and I can verify it. We're going to have a video that you will comment on at that point. And I like sharing. You know, I've gotten so much cool stuff because I share it with y'all. And I, it gives me a reason to get out there and do it. I want to share it with y'all. Thank y'all. Have a good day.